I'm Joey Perp from Save Money. Uh, we're at South by Southwest in beautiful Austin, Texas, and you're watching Fact TV. Gang, 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 gang. I don't know, I guess you could expect a little bit of everything from iDrops. Um, it's like some classic rap elements, like traditional shit, then there's like some progressive shit, a couple things from different genres that I brought. Just like, um, I don't know, just like a melting pot of like culture and shit. We had like a lot of instrumentation on certain tracks, you know what I mean? That we specifically wanted to just be like live instrument tracks that have like jazz elements and blues elements and shit like that. We just wanted to take a bunch of things and make something new out of them, you know what I mean? I don't know what the inspiration is behind it, really. That's kind of just how I always make music. Um, I think that it's important that you like reference things that influence you and not try to shy away from like showing respect to something that, that, that moved you. There's this song by this band called Swimmers, called Miley really great song it's like kind of funny it's kind of sarcastic but it's a really it's just like really good writing and really great song it, has, it like lives it has like a bloodline to it you know what i mean it's tight i like it i'm bad at writing songs but i am good at writing so i would like write and it would be a continuous thought but it would be like less of a song more of a narrative you know what i mean then you turn that into a song so yeah i think keeping a narrative is really important in telling your story and just telling a story in general you know i can't really sing that good but that's weird though because i'm good at writing songs like that but i'm not good at writing rap songs i should say because those are more so stories. That's just being really nice with a pen, like putting words together. But yeah, writing rap songs is something I'm, I'm not really great at. I don't, I'm not good at ad-libs and stuff. <laughs> I, don't, I haven't really thought about the Kanye thing with Chance because he's openly showed admiration for Vic and Chance in the past, and now it's just become more of a public thing. They always come back from LA or somewhere with a, a rare Kanye story, you know? So it's not really like a, I don't know. It's tight though, it's really cool. I guess, yeah, there might be a couple more eyes on us. Vegans at South by Southwest, can get down on all the really good produce. There's really good produce here. So you don't really gotta switch up, you know, your swag. They, they do say when in Rome, but you know, I probably wouldn't wear a toga. If I went back in time, I wouldn't wear this fly ass fit I have on right now. So when I come to South by, I really just eat produce. There actually is a couple of vegan food trucks that have like really good like um, teriyaki soy burgers and stuff like that. But aside from like steals like that where you find some ill vegan shit, it's just like being a vegan anywhere else. You know, just more people in the way of you and your kale. Like that, my hips the bitches sipping. Do they make vegan lean? See on my dick, I'm off the shits. My letter blow me.